What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to be going over the Vaporesso Gen. It's got that new Axon chip in it. Is it better than that Omni board? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out exactly what I think. Look at that. That's interesting, huh? Check out that texture. That's the first thing you notice when you see this thing in the box is the feel of this thing is just phenomenal. Check it out, man. I'm digging that copper fire button. There's your screen, up, down, menu button. All right, look at that, man. I like that copper lettering, a little bit of venting on the bottom there, okay? Nothing much on this side, all right? A little bit more Vaporesso branding over there. Wanted to put it next to a couple of other mods just for some size comparison. This is the Rinco Manto. You can see, man, this one for a dual 18650 mod it's definitely on the big side, especially when compared next to some of the newer mods out today. Here it is next to the Smoke Devilkin. All right, same thing. You know, the Devilkin, man, it's much shorter, you know, not as wide. This thing is definitely on the big and bulky side, but the feel in the hand more than makes up for that. So I just wanted to give you some perspective by putting it next to two smaller mods. Now, I'm pretty sure the camera is picking it up. You're gonna notice there's some discoloration here. And the discoloration is very even, right? Going all the way around. Like you could see it's not from over dripping or a juice staining the top. This is very even. And this thing's got like a four layer coating on it. And what I'm thinking is this part right here, right? Maybe they shouldn't have coated it or maybe they just should have not have coated the top because it looks like from the heat, it's discoloring the coating that they have on there. Now, this is one of the reasons I don't do out of the box reviews. I've seen other reviews on this where other reviewers have reviewed this mod and nobody has pointed that out. So I don't think it's a one-off thing. I think it has to do with the coating and that's why I don't do out of the box reviews. I've had this mod for weeks and this took about a week or two to happen, but I wanted to point it out. I do like the copper plating over here. You got threading in there, stainless steel threading. In here, you have a nice spring-loaded gold-plated 510 that I would say has a medium spring with a medium throw to it, all right? But definitely you wanna be aware of this, okay? Of this discoloration, you know, maybe it's only happening on the silver one because that's the lightest one. Maybe it's not happening on the black, blue, and red but I gotta point that out, it's a con. Now all that's being said about the coating, I gotta give Vaporesso props, man. I have never had a mod feel so good in my hand. The, the coating that they're using and this dimpling over here is just phenomenal, man. This mod feels fantastic in your hand. I would love to see them use this exact same coating with some more shapes because it is a phenomenal coating. I would just recommend on the light colors, don't put that coating on the top of the mod where it gets hot, because you're gonna have discoloration. But otherwise, man, the feel in the hand, just, uh, I can't even explain it. You gotta hold one in your hand to actually understand what I'm talking about. So now on the bottom here, you got this little divot for your fingernail, right? You pop that open just like that. And this is something new Vaporessa was doing. They're putting a caution in there, okay? I do like that, nice job. You know, encouraging you to check your battery skins to make sure there's no tears in it. Nice job on that, Vaporesso. Also over here, this has got a non-conductive coating, so just in case you do have a tear, you don't gotta worry about it hitting metal. All right, here is your battery strap, and here are your gold-plated, spring-loaded battery contacts. You also have gold-plated battery contacts on the bottom. Here's what's disappointing. I mean, Vaporesso, you went to all that trouble to put that writing in white, but you didn't put the battery indicator markings in white. Come on, man. You guys know better than that. You can't do that. If you're going to go to the trouble of this, then why not put that in white? Just doesn't make any sense, man. Vaporesso, I'm a little surprised at you. I really am. Here's some Axon chipset branding, all right? Let's throw some batteries in this thing and let me show you how it rolls. That battery strap is pretty good. It doesn't get in the way. Now you put your battery door on. Look at that, man. 
it moves a little bit this way, very slight, don't move this way. Overall, very solid battery door. It doesn't move when you're using it either, okay? Now, you can see I have mine in TC mode, and the reason being is I've been running my Profile Unity tank on this with the new stainless steel strips in TC mode, and it's been fantastic. But let me show you the screen, all right? There's your battery in percentage, your resistance, your puff counter in seconds, your temperature, and your mode. I'm in Smart TC right now. Hit the menu button. Now you can see there's Pulse Mode. If we select Pulse Mode, basically what they did with Pulse Mode is it's Power Mode, but it pulses the chip like really, really fast. You don't feel it in order to get a more consistent hit throughout the pull. I've been using that for power mode and it's fantastic. Hit the menu button again. That's power echo mode, power economy basically. There's your smart TC mode and let me tell you something. This smart TC mode actually works really well. I like it. There's your DIY mode. This is the secondary menu system where you can go into your more traditional settings. That's variable wattage mode, variable temperature mode, variable voltage, curve mode for wattage, there is your bypass mode. There's super player mode if you want to fire some really low builds. And then you go to exit and hit the menu button right there. Now, here is your system set. This is where you can go into your puff counter, your brightness. You can flip the screen if you want. Default settings, version, and then exit. All right, and over here is where you can exit your choice mode. All right. For the most part, when I vape it in power mode, I'm vaping it in this pulse mode, and I've definitely been enjoying it. But like I said, I've been using this Smart TC mode with the Profile Unity and the brand new stainless steel strips, and it's been vaping beautifully. Now here's something really cool. When you screw an atomizer on it, when it's in Smart mode, you'll see it's asking you if it's a new load. I hit plus. And now it says it's scanning, right? Now it's scanned, and you can see I got the profile unity on there, okay? It's scanned, it recognized that I had a TC coil in there, and now it put me in TC mode. Now I can vape my unity with the stainless steel strips in TC mode, smart TC mode, and it's actually been really a, a, a nice vape, I have to say. Now, the only other thing is, if you wanna lock the mod, Three clicks, you saw the lock button go on there. Now I cannot adjust the temperature, but it will still fire, okay? And that's it, folks. That's really the whole menu system. Here it is with the profile unity on top. Also included in the packaging is a very nice micro USB cable, par for the course for Vaporesso, a user manual, and a Vaporesso warranty card. All right, insiders, let's get into them cons and pros for the Vaporesso Gen. First con's gonna be, man, and it annoys the piss out of me on such a great mod. That discoloration on top around the 510, unbelievable, man. I can't believe that happened to this mod. It really bothers the hell out of me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the coating. You saw how uniform it is. There's something going on with the heat and that coating. And just another reason, like I said down low, that I refuse to do out-of-the-box reviews. I mean, if I would have reviewed this out-of-the-box and slapped an Addy on it, you guys would have never known about this issue. So that's why I don't do out-of-the-box reviews. I take my time with reviews. Vaporesso did a beautiful job on that battery door, but then the battery markings are black on black. Come on, Vaporesso. That's a con you could have easily avoided. The display, while it's nice, it's bright, it's easy to see, it's kind of old and tired. I would have liked to have seen something different with the screen. The font on this thing, man, it's a little bit on the small side, you know what I mean? I mean, my eyes ain't what they used to be. I, I, can't, I can't see it. Sometimes I really gotta, you know, look at it really hard and strain. I wish they would have made the font a little bigger. And that 0.1 watt increment scrolling Vaporesso, come on already, man, get rid of that nonsense. You want to scroll in 0.1 watts under 20 watts, I got no issues with that. After 20 watts, it's got to be a half a watt or one watt. Otherwise, it's just a pain in the neck. But that's it on the cons. Real nitpicky stuff. 
Nothing that really affects the vape quality. Let's get on to the pros because this thing's got a ton of pros. First pro is going to be, man, and you see it as soon as you open that box. You can see this thing has a different type of texture. Then you put it in your hand, and man, this thing just feels fantastic. Awesome job on the texture and the feel in the hand for this mod. I can't explain it. Just go out and grab one and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Got that centered 510, man. You guys know that's always a pro on this channel. Nice, clicky, tactile buttons all around. Pro. It fires fast. There's no doubt about that. It's a pro. So far, besides the whole top plate issue, the build quality on this thing is stellar. It's really nice. Easy, easy menu system. I like that. Pro. That smart TC, man, that smart TC works well. Let me show you what I'm doing here, man. I got the profile Unity, right, on top with the brand new stainless steel coils, right? And let me tell you something. It's at 500 degrees in smart TC. Check this out. Just nice, man. I get nice flavor, and the TC actually works. I tried both. I tried the regular TC. I tried the smart TC. Really, really nice job on the TC. If you're a TC vapor, this is a definite must-have. Pulse mode on this mod. If you use it in place of power mode, you get a really nice, strong, consistent vape throughout the whole pull. I like it. This thing's got something interesting, right? It's got a 40% cutoff. Like, when, when your battery hits 40%, it asks you if you want to go into echo mode, which at first I found kind of annoying, right? But... One time I was on the train, I was commuting, right? And I looked at my mod after I got off the train and it hit 40%. I still had a bus to go to get home. And I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. Now I can knock it down the, to echo mode and I, I'll probably be able to get home since I don't have a spare set of batteries on me. In that situation, it's a really nice feature. So it's kind of grown on me. I think it's a really nice feature that it asks you to go into echo mode at 40% battery life. Nice job, Vaporesso. This thing charges internally very fast in a pinch. It's got 2.5 amp internal charging. Now, we highly recommend that you charge externally all the time, but for those times that you're in a pinch, it's a nice feature to have. And the last pro I'm gonna give it is, I like the way they did the silver and that copper-like looking button. I think it just stands out nice. I think it looks classy. I think it's a great job on this color. Awesome, awesome job. So let's get into our original question insiders. Is this better than the Omni board? I gotta say, man, I really, really like this chipset. I like the smart features on it. I like the pulse mode. I think Vaporesso did a bang up job with this mod. In fact, in my top 10 video, this mod actually came in number two. I love the three button menu system. I love the simple menu system. This is one of those mods that is great for somebody who's just getting into sub ohming, somebody who's just, you know, ready to take that next step because it's got the smart TC and the easy menu system. But this will also satisfy the very experienced vapor as well. Not too many mods can do that. This one does. It is Deuces Jack approved. Let's go over some of the specs of the Vaporesso Gen. It is a dual 18650, 220 watt mod. It has a 0.91 inch OLED display. The Gen will fire down to 0.03 ohms in super player mode. It has 2.5 amp internal charging. It measures in at 30 by 54 by 146 millimeters. All the TCs, pulse mode, bypass mode, super player mode, as well as preheat and curve modes are all included. Want to give a big shout out to Vaporesso for sending this one my way. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. We're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We out. Deuces. What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 mods of the year so far. My top 10. 